Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Welcome back, everybody, to Alan Wake 2. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Did you get out, buddy? The PI from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. He's so handsome. It's a bit of a you are not. car wake. Look at him. Get your just look at him. Then we'll head out. But I just I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. I want to. You can relax, and, Wake. And pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Oh, I will. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you to With all of my members. Could thank you so much for the support. All the new subscribers as well. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. So I started recording the other day, and one, my voice was, like, shot, and... I was getting a lot of like sparkly artifacts on all of like the rocks. It was really, really weird. And I adjusted stuff. I looked some stuff online and fixed it. But now this is happening. <laughs> so there's that. We just won't look at the water. We just won't look at it. Anyway. Yes, welcome back. Um, so we're going to take a look around here. I actually want to see as far as this goes. So all of this has opened up for us. Looks like we can't get over there, but we can actually get up over there's the witch's sign. That's where we came through. So let's look over this way and then maybe circle back around before we actually head back. But we're still missing some of the lunch boxes in this area, so I want to find those. Um, hopefully we can find them all. But it looks like there's still a spot that we can't get to, so. But we found Alan, so that's good. I guess we're going to eventually be able to play as him. There's dinner. That's also, that's also good. Good, good. That's good. Oh, there's something back in here. There we go. On the page. Cool. So that's the overlap. Okay, let's take a look at that and see what it has to say. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about something they feared the stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response the better the darker the better a ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned bedtime stories folk tales urban legends connected to a specific place these were the sites where the overlaps came to be ah uh, so that's where the overlaps began okay so we'll unlock some more music there as well yeah, it looks like that's pretty much it in there so all right let's continue on see what we can find 
It's been a while since I've played. I'm kind of upset about it, but I've been a bunch of stuff happened this past weekend. I wasn't able to. Well, I tried to record, but like it just wasn't happening. And yeah, here's some more of the uh, those symbols, the uh, cult of the tree. Ooh, we can get out here. A locked box. Here we go. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Probably. Um, boop, boop, boop. Well, that's not a very secure box. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Oh, so that unlocked more space for us. Got a flare? Is that a flare? Okay. What is this? We'll take a look at that stuff in a second. The What's it say? see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals. And it's our job to hunt them and gut them. So they... Talking about the, um... Like people like Nightingale or just normal people? Do we find... Yeah, cases. Okay. Called stashes. So we got this one. Uh, caches at... Nah! There we go. There's a note inside. Encouraging cultists to dehumanize their victims. Okay. Oh. Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Okay. And then we got the cult of the tree. We've got this uh, reminding cultists that... Cultists that victims are like animals. So... Who's involved? Cult psychology? Yeah, there we go. Dehumanizing their victims. They are the predators. Their victims are just prey. Okay. Cool. I gotta remember to do that whenever we find stuff instead of waiting so long. What's over here? There's something here. Hey, pupper. Even the animals are turning into monsters. All right. Well, you know, I would have uh, probably died if I didn't shoot it. So it was either him or me. All right. So this, we got some batteries. That's good. Another note page. Cool. All right, Saga burns away the dark substance. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see, the opposite of sunspots in her eyes, blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance, a feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. It's just telling us the story at that point, which most of that is, but it does sometimes actually open up a little bit more of what's going on. That one's just leading to explain exactly how that's working. There's something over there. There's an arrow telling us to go that way. Okay, well, in a bit, we will. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Yeah, so there's another one. There's a light on it, so I'm wondering if um, we still have Nightingale's heart. No? Light, 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 light. Something to, something to do with light. Interesting. We'll come back to that. Um, But there's these arrows all over the place. It's there. Some more shotgun ammo. Go ahead and reload that because we haven't reloaded yet. Um, what's over this way? I want to look this way first. Away from the arrows because where are we exactly on the map? Wait a second. So that's that way. What is back this way then? We're heading back that way. So it's going to be back to that, but it's like leading us through the woods. 
Okay, let's actually go this way first. What's this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I got it now. So the light wasn't meant as, like, shining a light on it. You need to use your flashlight. Because without it, you can't see those. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Still, you probably could have found that just by stumbling around and, you know, looking. This cult isn't the smartest, though. Wait, where was it? There it is. The stream side stash key. Okay. The cult is watching right now. Neat. That's fantastic. There's another flare. More shotgun and more of the, uh, the healing pads. Okay, so we can go... Nope, oh, wrong button. We can go here and put the cult stash on here. There we go. The cult stash is an ominous, creepy... Has an ominous, creepy warning note inside. I wonder if there are some of the cultists kind of hanging around. It would be super creepy if you look up and there's just one peeking over the hill there. Okay, so there's a bridge there and there's this way here. What's the split? So the split, the bridge, you can't, we probably can't go across there. Can we? Or can we? Streamside Cauldron Lake. Oh, we can. We just hadn't been there yet. Okay, let's circle around real quick. Then we'll come back to this because that's a whole new area for us. Of course, this, this spot is too, but yeah, we're almost done searching it. So we'll go ahead and finish this one. There's something here. Like a fishing pole? No. I will blast you, whoever you are. Today's catch, a yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch, just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices an, a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. So out of town or walking around in the woods. Just before, I wonder if he's talking about um, Nightingale. Or maybe the the couple, what were their names? The ones that, that witnessed what happened? Maybe them? I don't know. Could be either. Could be either. Okay, so I, you wouldn't be able to get up from the other side anyway. There's probably something on the other side of this, isn't there? No, it doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's go to that new area. Searching around new areas. It's exciting and horrifying at the same time. Oh, it's the radio. There's something move. written here. A poem? Or a riddle? What is going on here? Nursery rhymes. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light. Two for darkness. Three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Okay. Oh. We're going to need to probably figure this out. So one bird for light would probably go here. Two for darkness. Uh, well, maybe not. A five for an injury. Six for misery. Seven for the ending. Whatever it may be. So we'll have to place stuff in these areas. Because obviously we don't have anything to do that. So we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Um, but we're also filming stuff here. Interesting. Let's get our flashlight back out, actually. I don't like that. 
really don't like how it's making random noises. A What's this? Clothes pindle. Oh. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. No, 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 no. You're not doing that. You're not giving it to your kid. I will blast you. The shotgun is hella dope. <laughs> I love it. it. Sounds so good. Of course, there's a salt off. Things are loud. Can we not interact with this? Oh, I guess we can do that. Um, one for the sunlight. Oh, something feels different. I should look around. Wait, what? What did Charm. I just? Charm, cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Attacks stagger enemies. Huh. Attacks stagger enemies more often. That was nice. strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Oh, uh, yeah. Excuse me? You really want to do this? No, you. Yeah. Oh, the police officer? Officer, officer. You're what? You're hungry. I, uh... Oh, it's very loud. Get out of here. There's literally no way to turn those off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop complaining about them, though. <laughs> I know that I have done it every time. And it ruins the game, it ruins the immersion, but... There's nothing I can do. I've literally tried everything, apart from contacting Epic and telling them to stick it. So, we can pick that back up. So one for the sunlight. So this one, we actually just did it right on the first try, but it looks like maybe the next piece. Let's let's go here and take a look at this because there's a whole new uh, nursery rhymes. Here we go. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. It's true. It's very, very true. Oh, so there's like multiple areas. Okay, Cauldron Lake. Because of strange dolls, put this up here. Let's start there. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of this. Kind of reads more like an owl to me. Okay. Cauldron Lake rhymes. Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. I didn't realize that the environment changed. Maybe I should have looked around more. Um, I found a strange rhyme on a sheet of paper with children's drawings. Yeah, that's this one, right? No. Okay, fine. There we go. What is this setup? Why the tripod? Some kind of experiment? Rhyme found near the bridge at Cauldron Lake. Rhyme about counting counting crows. Each number of crows has a different meaning. Okay, and then charm appeared at the side of the lake. Uh, maybe here? No. There we go. Charm appeared. Where did it come from? I wonder if there are others. Uh, here. There we go. Completing the puzzle made the world change. What's going on here? Okay. So this was a whole optional area as well. Maybe this is just trying to teach us stuff like about later in the game. Well, I like that the enemies are dropping um, ammunition now. That's good. It's good to know this early so I don't miss it. We've only really had like one or two enemies so far other than Nightingale. Okay, so we got the light there, then we can go up that way. Um, so it's Witchfinder Station, private cabin. Um, it's gonna look along here. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to circle back around up top to the Witchfinder station. We'll take a look at this lodge, maybe on the way back down through. Um, I still haven't seen like any of those painted rocks that seem to be the indication of the... Um... Okay, so this one... Can I shoot it? No. 
Okay, so we'll have to find a lock or a key for that. Um, but the painted rocks that kind of indicate where the lunch boxes are, I haven't seen any of those yet. It's also a little bit harder to see right now, um, especially with the graphics a little bit lower. Okay, from Alaska to British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and all the way down to California, the Pacific Northwest area spans over a diverse range. Here you will find 59 threatened or endangered species of plants and animals, including the mighty orca and wild gray wolves. The Pacific Northwest region's ecosystem are wonderfully diverse. They include mountain areas like the Cascades and Olympic Ranges, as well as the defense forests around them. The dense defense. <laughs> I need to learn how to read. In the west, there are several islands and dry desert plateaus. And dry desert plateaus cover the east. Some of the common wildlife calling the Pacific Northwest their home are robins and seagulls, squirrels and otters, cougars and deer, coyotes and raccoons, salmon and blue herons. The marshes and ponds of this area host an impressive variety of fauna, but majestic trees like the black cottonwood, big leaf maple, and Oregon ash thrive in the wetlands too. It is truly the nature lover's paradise. Nice. Seems like a nice area. Also, for anybody wondering, there's there's different difficulties in um, in the game. I'm playing on story mode, um, not because it makes it easier. I mean, it does make it easier, but I've learned my lesson in the past by trying to record videos on hard difficulties um, whenever I'm dumb and I'm not good at games. Uh, if you want if you want any indication of that, look at my Alien Isolation series and the giant gap in time that it took me to complete it because I was playing on like the hardest difficulty. Don't do that anymore. I want to bring you guys a cool story and not uh, not suffer the whole time. So that's why some enemies may seem pretty easy to kill, is because it's a uh, it's on just plain old story mode. But so there's a poem out front, like a, another rhyme. I have a feeling that we're gonna need maybe another thing for it. Maybe another little owl thing thing. Um, oh, here's this. Okay, cool. Let's follow this. Wait, is this taking us back down? Oh, it kind of is, but there's like a... Can I go up this way? Oh, you're around here somewhere, aren't you? There it is. There it is. Okay, More of cool. those kids' lunch boxes. There we go. Obviously, you're going to succeed, or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh. So we have nine now. I thought we've had that. We've had nine. So how many do we need to upgrade? Oh, we have eighteen now. Okay, so we can upgrade. So you can do auto fire. More bullets. Land two hutch has in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. So you increase the magazine size by 50%. Okay. What about this one here? Shotguns? Um, increase reload speed. That might be a good one for the shotgun. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. I'm trying to think of which ones I would need the most. Maybe the reloads, either the reload speed or the more bullets. Let's do more bullets for the so pistol now. Count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. We really yet, haven't. She'd not run out of ammo, as if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again. I love that. I love that. Like. Whenever you make a change, the story that he's writing changes alongside of you. That's so cool. Okay, so we go to the lunch boxes. So we're only missing one now. Or two, sorry, two. So there's still two around here. Motivational note was inside. It's some is someone looking out for me. I think somebody is. I think somebody is. Okay, so we just missed that on our walk up, because that's the way we came from. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Wait, is it where we came from? No, we came from over here, right? Oh no, I was just talking to you guys about stuff. That's why. What's this? Maybe. Wait, no, we came from over there. I'm um, so right there. I see it. Okay, we're good. I'm just dumb. I'm just dumb. I'm very tired too. I'm sorry. It's 
been it's been a long weekend. <laughs> All right. Murder An sites. overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the inside of a mirror. I wonder if these are places... Crap. I wonder if those are places that we're going to end up finding out about. Because um, obviously we, the lawman, whose heart was cut out of his chest, that's Nightingale. <clears throat> um, maybe two corrupt men is the next one. Or a haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Maybe we'll find those eventually. Um, I feel like that might be some foreshadowing on what as to what's coming next. But... I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. Here's another stone. Painted stone. Yeah, we came up over here. So we'll go down. Whenever we leave, we'll go down that way. Um, but first and foremost, let's take a look at this. What does this have to say? The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved the most. Okay. Let's see, so you've got a chicken, egg, chicken and an egg, a tree, boat, eye, and then candy. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. Is the house behind us? The hero returned to find she had lost the thing she loved the most. What's the thing that she loved the most? I wonder if you have, like, if you get it wrong, if you only get one shot at it, because these charms aren't like anything that are, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of nice to have because they give you perks and buffs and stuff, but it's not the boat. It can't be the boat. The eye? I don't really get the candy or this and then the, the woods. Let's look around the house. Maybe something will give us some kind of indication. Oh wait, we can reload this now. Can we put more bullets in there? Oh, we hold 18 now. Nice. Forgot about that already. Okay, but yeah, maybe we'll find something in here that will that'll help us. This looks like very well kept. Ooh, just happened. Also, like that, as like a police officer, I need to stop saying like so much. Um, as a police officer, FBI agent, um, we're just like rummaging through people's stuff and stealing it all. So, which you know makes sense. I feel bad for these guys. What is her obsession with the deer, though? Every time, there's like, there's something with the deer. Can I close that door? All right. Oh, okay. So there's a password. Wait. Four, five, or two, five, two, five, four, seven. But there's, okay. We didn't find, uh, find that. Okay. These moose dolls. What's going on? I have a feeling that we're going to find what we need for the the poem on the computer possibly yeah let's go ahead actually let's look on the back porch is there anything here no not really close that 
Anything here in the kitchen? Somebody really liked their pizza. Okay. So we've got the one set of codes. Or, well, the four digits. But what did that door outside go to? Wait. Just thought, like, we're... I thought it was going to take us back around. Okay. No, 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 no. I want to close it behind me. There we go. Oh, more pages. Oh, cool. 721, 720. Okay, sorry here. Tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches in some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Try to fix some of the damage. Douse the area. Maybe put up more instructional signs. That's not going to help. Not whenever there's teenagers. I also found some tracks I couldn't recognize. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints? Or footprints that were smeared? Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. We'll need you to keep an eye out. Okay, 724. Poem of the day. The sun as she sleeps knows not the woes of men who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists despite post posted guidance. Humans are the worst. Thought of the day. Every majestic pine was once a wee acorn. Observations. A lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are, are really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Sounds great to sleep. Great sounds to sleep too. <laughs> Maybe I, 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 I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Okay, so what did this poem say? So it's a different poem. It's not obvi obviously not one that we need to do anything for, but I'm wondering if that has something to do with the poem that we see outside. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's go. Come on. There we go. All right, let's go upstairs now. There's something left. Somebody left in a hurry. It's like, what is it? Like, who is here? Can't get through there. It's this hero doll. Oh, and then there's a wolf doll. Okay, so these are going to be for the the poems. Okay, test sites in Cauldron Lake. Location and arrangements. Which finder station two? Streamside one. Cauldron Lake rental cabins one. What? Test sites. So there's two test sites here, right? Because we're at the Witchfinder station? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Any other toys I can pick up? What about this videotape? Okay. Objective. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Methodology. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality either reflecting events that have come to pass but that are not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for the past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme text with, specific, with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols need, as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. So the testing sites, 
that it was talking about a little bit ago um, were the nursery rhyme spots. So there's four total in this area then, and we've only found two, and it's they're used to kind of recreate that portal between between the worlds, between the different places. Gotcha. Okay. Nursery rhymes, nursery rhymes. Okay, so Cauldron Lake. Okay, so Strange Dolls. Let's do this here. It's a pretty neat, pretty good paint job. Nice detail. Okay, Hero Doll used to solve with the rhyme puzzle. Okay, is that a foil lining? Someone put it in a lot of effort. Cauldron Lake rhymes. Maybe oh. this. Nope. There we go. So the FBC is researching how fictions affect reality. Sounds familiar. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Locations are Witchfinder Station, Streamside, and Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. So. So the Witchfinder Station is going to be two here. The Streamside was the one that we found down here. And then the Rental Cabin probably here. Okay. Or Streamside. No, that's Streamside. Cabin. Maybe that's the cabin. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, either way. We'll find them. Maybe. Oh. Now it kind of makes a little bit more sense. So maybe the... Because we've got... the It's about the wolf, right? So we put the wolf there. No. Wait. Okay. So... Maybe her baby? So hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry. Okay, so... So the wolf came from there, and then the hero left, so maybe the boat? Got it. A weird feeling. Something's changed. Something has changed. Something has changed. What could it be? What is this? All the tracks leading into the house. Oh, damn. Is that wolf gonna be in here? Where wolfy, wolfy, wolfy. Oh, we still need to figure this out. Two, five, four, seven. I really don't know what that could be. Anyway, anyway. Of course, I didn't really keep an eye out for the, uh, for any kind of, oh no. Another charm for my bracelet. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. I dig it. Oh, I'd really like to figure this out, though. Two, four. Oop. Oh, it is that. Okay, cool. Neat. Or does it need all of them? Um, experimentation update. Dr. Campbell from six months ago. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, lead researcher, Department of Parafictional Research. Interesting. Project pr project Nursery Rhymes, working title. I have received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in, my, in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, lead researcher. Okay. So just some emails there. All right, let's go back here, go to the case board. So we got more stuff here. So strange dolls, so dark substance appears when the rhyme was completed. No. There we go. It looks like a trail. Does it want me to follow? Obviously, yes, obviously. Rhyme found outside the cauldron lake. There we go. The hero of the rhyme left her child unprotected. Yep. That's kind of what I got from it. Uh, the email from the author of the rhymes, Dr. Eugene Campbell. 
<clears throat> no. No. There we go. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Oh, absolutely. And that always goes well. The FBC created the rhymes research to see if nurture nursery rhymes have a power have power to affect the future. Weird. Alright, now I think we can continue on um, once we pick up these dolls, I guess. Let's go ahead and take these. Because we might need them. Okay. So there's another spot somewhere. Or another two we spots at least. Car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. We ain't done here. You crazy. Mm -mm. Not yet. Saga. I'm in control here. And we got a lot more to do. What's that? Is that a birdhouse? Can I shoot the stick off? No? Okay. That's fine. Boy, the guns in this game just feel good. They just feel so powerful. Oh, we found another, another locked box. What she said. Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? Rock, rock, tree, are you bright enough? So three plus three is six. Eight. Six, eight. Where's the where's the other one? Where's the last one? Let's see. There we go. There we go. So it's seven minus two, so five. So six, five, eight. Six, five, eight. Or five, six, eight. So we'll do six, five, eight. There we go. First aid kit, for pain. Are you one of us or one of them? I, mean, I guess one of them. I assume. I assume I'm one of them. All right, cult stashes. And the note is the note inside to scare people off. Did they expect people to break into these? I mean, it's that was. They're fairly simple to figure out. These cultists are not the smartest people, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so we got to come back up here to get to the cabin. Or the lodge, not the cabin. I guess this is like the rental? The rental lodge? Okay, cool. So here's another note. Okay, before we read that, I want to look around. Is it a generator? Oh, I got to hit enter. There we go. Cool. Well, we have light inside the cabin now. Hopefully that... We didn't need to do that after we went in, but that's okay. There's a rhyme over here. Yeah, I know. No. Oh, here we go. It's another manuscript piece. Cult of the tree. Let's go ahead and close this. Because whenever we're in here. Of course, I think we should be safe here. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, We watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story. But they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. 
People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Yeah, yeah. He's not wrong. What's this? Another one? Oh no. Guests, Miriam and Matt, thanks for the lovely hike. Patty, came down from New York City and loved every minute of the trip. Lori and Bob, these paths have seen better days. Kev, nice views you got here. Mr. Lockhart, may I suggest adding some nice rest stops along the way? Camping do's and don'ts. From your friendly park ranger. Do, hike and enjoy the scenery. Set up your tent. Enjoy a nice meal. Relax. Don't. Chop down trees. Leave your trash behind. Be loud and obnoxious. Start a forest fire. And remember to always have fun. Well, what's the fun if you can't set fire in the woods, right? Am I right, kids? Am I right, kids? All right. Oh, cool. We can save. There we go. Game saved. All right, let's go try to figure this one out. Oh, gosh. I fell through there. All right. So, a mother crow sits in her nest, guarding her babies, doing her best. To protect her home from the beast coming to feast, but only a hero brave... Only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay, this one seems easy. A mother crow sits in her nest. A mother crow sits, the nest would be the, the house, right? Then the, um, to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. So it's probably gonna be this one or the woods. It doesn't mention the woods though, um, but only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Okay, here we go. Nope. Nope. Okay, cool. Then this one here. Do -do. Wolf. No. Okay, then it's this one over here. Doesn't make sense. That does too. Okay, let's read it again. Mother crow sits in her nest. Guarding her babies, doing her best. Wait. Maybe this one here. Criddle. To protect her home from the beast. Okay, the beast goes over here. And then the hero of heart. Okay, I know. I know, I'm an idiot. Okay, so what changed? What changed? Okay, let's take a look in here first. Maybe it'll help us. ultimately failed okay but what changed what changed to where I can I can has another trinket maybe would be nice I don't know where it where it would be oh was that always there Hello, sir. There's something else here. Oh, the birdhouse fell. The birdhouse fell down. What's that noise? Where are you at? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's inside the house. Wait. Is it? Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. The audio for that was way off, but I think it was meant to be like coming from this house because of the, the, the poem that we read. Okay, so this one increases hand flares duration and error and area of effect. Okay, we'll hold on to that one because we haven't had to use it yet. I don't really know what the hand flares are going to be used for. Okay, so we went up that way to get up to the the one spot. Um, this here, here's another one that we can't can't get into. But that the thing said that there were the Witchfinder Station, Streamside, and Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. But are there four or are there just the three? Because it said two, one, one. 
If it's meant to be believed that that's that that was the number of the poems, that means there should be another one up here. Okay. So there's nothing up here. So we found one here, here, and here, but I don't think there's another one over here anywhere. But we're going to go ahead and head back. Um, I want to come up this way. Oh, the rental cabins. Oh, so the stream side. That's the private cabin. So there might be one here. I was thinking that this was the rental cabin. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's go. Or let's. I want to go up here next to that waterfall, see if we can see anything. If not, let's go ahead and head back up to um, this area. See if we can get there. And yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it won't let us really go up the river. Um, however, I don't know if it's the... Now we can follow this up and around. I think this right here might be the spot that we actually um, found. Yeah, right there, the open container that we searched the, a while back. I wonder if we can get down in here, though. Why don't you stay Easy peasy. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's some stones here. And yes. Another lunchbox. Sweet. Take that. I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light, lonely and cold. I hugged myself inside. I thought of him. Then the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise, he was there. His face smiling at me, reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there, my love, my savior, my rider. It was Alan Wake. Okay. So we're only missing one from this area now. And it, probably up at the rental cabins, because it doesn't look like we've even been up there. Um, because it's all grayed out. Yeah, we haven't even been there. We need to get up there and look at those. And I'm wondering if we can do that before we leave the area this time. But that's where I'm going to head next. Because you know, I need it precious. I need it. I need all the stuff and things. Oh, I need damn. To back. I was trying to come up this way and it, it's not letting me. So it looks like these little areas are... Are like blocked off where you can't go any further so maybe we have to open up that area a different way because we can't get down this way because there's like trees covering the road i wonder if we can climb up there let's check real quick probably not probably not but it's worth a shot Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, sweet. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Did we get past that spot? Oh, we did. We did. Oh, let's go. Watch this gate be locked up here. There was a gate right that he let us through in the first episode. Can't really remember. Parking. And that way. It's definitely not towards the parking. We're going to go up this way. We're going to search this whole area. This whole stinking area. So I need to find all the stuff. Oh. I need something to cut this. Damn it. No, let me in. I see the lunchbox thing right there, too. No. Is there another way in? So we can't get there. Maybe here? I doubt it. I, I very seriously doubt it. If that, if that way is locked, there's not going to be another way. It's going to let us in, right? Right. That would be great, but it's not going to let us know. No. Oh, what's this? Newspaper. 
Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the central the, the, at the rental cabins. An identified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday. An idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which had been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls Police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses of the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard, heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, It's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off, and the psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cap... A representative from the rental cabins who chose to remain anonymous wanted to rem remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us and we may need to rejigger some of the reservations uh, based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us. The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in the company's brochures on the website which is real nice. State of the art. My nephew made it, and he's a real computer whiz. All right. Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right. In the grand scheme of life, those dead, depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health, so get on out there and just do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. Absolutely. Bright Falls' own virtual camping, virtual baking champ. Ugh. My voice, my, my voice, my voice. I can't even talk because my voice is so shot. Ugh. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No. In this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. Interesting. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. CB, as his owner refers to him, had been missing for three days, and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times, confirmed Ryder Stevens. <laughs> the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give this kinds of calls, and I feel really grateful to have had the opportunity. What with all the predators out there, usually you're telling folks you found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know. And so it felt real good to give some good news. Even if Coffee Bean is kind of in kind of rough shape, the fur will grow back, sure. But, well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. Okay. All right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's that. There's the, uh, the news of the day, I guess. So we can't get in that way. So if we just rummage our way through the wilderness this way, uh, we should be able to just go ahead and get at least back to the parking spot. I don't know if it's going to let us up here. Probably not. Because um, there's a way in right there, too. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're almost to the road. No, I knew it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go back to Bright Falls. All right, fine. We'll have to come back here anyway. I just wanted to get all the stuff and things, you know. You ready all to right. go? Yeah, I'm ready. Is he asleep? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? 
I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense.